Jesus, God, my words for the ones that never heard this. Open up the ears of the ones that need to learn this. My number one concern is we're living in a furnace. The less we try to change, the more it's gonna burn us. Hey, what's going on today we're going to make uh, some stencils out of old transparencies <laughs> this is old transparency I had that uh, for a t-shirt I was gonna make but I kind of held off on it right now so uh, right now we're going to turn that into a stencil so you can use for your, uh, your little baggies <laughs> your uh, portable mailers the poly mailers I guess you call them I don't know but we're gonna make transparency stencils how to spray paint over those and uh yeah, I'm going to use my Cricut, and let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start from bare scratch for you guys. So, I mean, if you have the same situation that I have, that uh, you got to make it from bare bones or take a part of the image that you want to use. So, this is a decal I made for my car. Let me scoot you back some because my camera keeps trying to autofocus. There we go. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is I just want this Soda City Works part. So what I'm going to do is add a shape. So I'm going to make a square just for right now that I can block this one part out. And I'm going to make this, move it forward. And I'm going to change the color so you guys can see it on screen better. Uh, say yellow. And then I'm going to drag that to the front of it until the edge where this part's cut out. And I'm going to select both, hit slice. And now I got the part I want. So now I'll just delete all this. And that's going to leave me with the part that I want. And my poly mailers are like 12 by 10s, I think. So I'm going to make my image about an 8 by 8 or close to it. So 7.67 by 8. I'm going to zoom out so you can see a little better. All right, now what I'm going to do is grab another shape. This time I'm going to just use a circle to kind of change up my stencil. And like I said, you make this out of scrap transparency so you, you have nothing in it as far as price was. I'm going to get it close to center as possible. Again, I want to hit slice. Delete that. I'm going to delete the center part here. And then that's going to leave you with a stencil. But the problem I'm going to have is my O and inside my D and A and R, that won't stay. So what I do to fix that is take little tiny squares. I'm going to hit the unlock button and I'm going to make it tinier. I want you to duplicate, duplicate this a few times. So I'm going to need one, two, three. Okay, so let's make three of those. Well, I'm going to make four just in case I find somewhere else to put it. Anyway, I'm going to put one right here somewhat let's see let's stretch that out a little bit and the reason i'm doing it like this that way i got more more to use on so it's not just flopping around same with my o i'm going to unlock it move it to where i think it'd be best and my a i'm actually going to turn this one sideways unlock it make it a little skinnier I'm going to do it like that. Let's bring it up a little bit. There we go. And now I got my R to deal with. Again, unlock it. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go through both parts so I don't have a lot flopping around. And one thing I do sometimes is uh, like the city part, how it's so much stuff cut out together. What I'll do is uh, 
So duplicate this. I'll just go kind of like this through all that so it don't flop around so much. And now I'll uh, weld all that together. And that's going to be my cutout. And now I'll go to make it. I got my selector on poster board. Then I'm going to hit continue. If I can seem to work it right. I'm going to feed this in. I'll put you guys down so I can feed it in and get it started. Okay, and once it gets done cutting, I'm going to unload it and what I do, here let me move you guys, I got tweezers I use, I like it better than the Cricut tool, just peel the outside part away. So, and then you're going to want to slowly peel this up because transparencies aren't as thick as uh, actual stencil plastic. Just slowly peel it. There's no need to be in no rush. And then you're left with uh, your cutout. And then you got your stencil, which you can't hardly see right now because all the ink. So I'm gonna give you guys a practice spray. So this is where I keep mine. Do, 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 do. Let's bring this over here. Okay. Now all you're going to do, when you find the right side, there we go, just lay it, lay it down on there. And the paint I use is duplicolor vinyl and fabric because it's made for a flexible finish. So it's not going to flake off on you really until the customer gets it and rips the bag open. And don't mind my mess, I'm still uh, running wires. I still got to do that whole side of the shop. So I'm sorry if it's too messy. So, do a couple light coats. I like the whole grunge look, so I don't I don't go real heavy. And then give it a couple seconds. This stuff dries fairly quick. And there you go. Gives you a little grunge style look. To your packaging i mean it's not 100 percent professional looking obviously but unless you're selling some uh tommy hilfiger clothes and trying to be professional and doing polos i think you'd be just fine <laughs> but uh
Make sure you guys watch my video. Uh, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. Man, I hate that most. <laughs> but if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'm going to try to keep bringing you a bunch of how-tos and whatnot. If I can help anybody out, I mean, that's great. And uh, yeah, hit, hit that like. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. If there's something you think I could have done differently to make it easier for me, that works too. But uh, yeah, thanks. Have a great day. Jesus got my words for the ones that never heard this. Open up the ears of the ones that need to learn this. My number one concern is we're living in a furnace. The less we try to change, the more it's gonna burn us.